So I don't even know if I'm going to put this up Sunday. And I'm just getting ready for the day. Um, I've kind of been, I've been doing makeup almost every single day. I just feel like it makes me feel normal, like put together. I just enjoy it. It's honestly very meditative for me. What's up guys? How are y'all doing? Today, I don't really feel like talking about products. I just want to put on makeup and chat. And honestly, I'll just put whatever I'm using like down below. Today, I'm just going to do a light makeup day. I've been doing makeup every single day. And today I was like, oh, no makeup today. But I'm like, you know what? I feel like doing makeup, so we're going to do it. But we're not doing anything crazy, okay? I am just going to do really light tinted moisturizer and super quick. And that's pretty much it. I did wash my hair, so it looks a little poofy. And I'm wearing my Boston Red Sox shirt because I don't think there's going to be baseball this year. <laughs> kind of sad, but I'm a Boston Red Sox fan. Have always been. Haven't been keeping up too much with how they had been doing ever since I moved, but... I was happy when they won the series though. <laughs> Why are we even talking about this right now? We have bigger matters than uh, baseball. <laughs> How are you guys hanging in there? I, I am kind of like, so I'm gonna say this, it's really normal to feel all the emotions right now. I feeling okay about it and not feeling super anxious or fearful, but I have my days where I'm kind of like, oh my God, I was supposed to be in Massachusetts what this past last week and i haven't seen my boys in over a month and it's killing me it's killing me big time now i'm trying to figure out when i'm going to be able to go see them or even go to massachusetts at all so that's been that's been weighing on my mind i'm trying not to let it get to me too much i'm just pulling my makeup card over because i didn't plan to do this video actually i was just this is kind of random i just felt like turning on the freaking camera so that's been on my mind i'm just kind of figuring out what i'm gonna do about that and i'm not gonna get on a plane because it's probably not the smartest thing to do but then that only leaves the option of driving which means that would be a cross-country trip about three thousand miles and i'd be by myself at this point <laughs> i am not working i am an optometrist if in case some of you are new which is basically an eye doctor and eye doctors not considered essential only for emergencies so the owner of the practice that i work in i'm just going to put the do skin the owner of the practice is doing some telemedicine so she's kind of uh, triaging patients uh, online or by phone and seeing if it's a true emergency at this point um not working and i don't know when we will be starting work I think they're potentially saying right now, like in about two weeks to four, four weeks. I don't think that's going to happen. Today is what? What's today? Oh, I'm filming on my phone, so I can't really check my phone. <laughs> today is the fifth, I believe. And yeah, they were thinking that we might open up in two to four weeks. Again, it looks like this might go on until June, maybe even further. So having said that, if that's the case, I'm going to probably drive because I don't know how much longer I can take without seeing the boys and it's killing me. Like I feel guilty for not being there. I also know that it's outside of my control and there's not much that I can do, but wait it out and just to make the best of every day. And I talk to them pretty much all, the, all day. I mean, not all day, you know, like they have their stuff that they're doing at home and there's only so much attention you can take from them. But I usually tend to have longer chats with them at the end of the day, kind of evening time and and they're adjusting you know it's kind of like in, at first they were kind of like it's kind of like a shock and so they don't have a like a routine down and they don't have you know they're kind of doing their schoolwork at the end of the day and it's kind of like my oldest is probably taking a little bit harder because he's used to being with his friends and playing outside he's he loves to go outside and play basketball and that's been killing him more because of weather i think it's just the weather also they can't you know there's not as many options so being cooped up inside is kind of like ugh. but lately they've been adjusting um especially him i was kind of worried because i was like oh man you know he's 12 and a half he's um i think the younger kids are kind of like oh well let's just play video games and you know they stay busy with all that but the older kids are kind of that tween stage they're they're at an age where they kind of like to socialize, they like to be outside, and it's kind of weird, you know? You know what, let me stop here with this concealer. This concealer is super full coverage, and it is new to me, and I 
I'm just going to say right now that I actually have been loving it. This is day three using it. Really, really like it. There's a lot less cars, which means better for the environment. The birds have been chirping a lot louder lately. And it's just been nice. Everything has been really quiet. When we go to the store, to the grocery store, it's kind of weird. It's like try to be in and out, you know, and then you have to take all these precautions and cleaning the groceries and all that. And I can focus on that and be upset about it, but like, what's that gonna do? Just gotta get it done and be done with it, you know? Focus on other things. What have you guys been doing? Let me know what your day looks like. I'm just kind of getting into my mag mirror here because that way I can really see what's going on. Yeah, so I'm gonna be 44 at the end of this week. <laughs> And yeah, my sight up close is getting a little worse, as happens when you get older. It's called pregnopia. Welcome to your 40s. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I know I'm not the only one that this happens to, so I'm not, I'm not mad. <laughs> so what I was saying, what does your routine look like? Typically, we get up, make some coffee, um, I get dressed to work out. And we usually have a routine that we follow, so we've been following it here, just kind of adjusting to home workouts. And I tend to do a lot of the beach body workouts, um, supplement whatever we're doing. Guys can just weight lift. I'm sorry, like I can't just do weights. I need to do a little bit more movement. I need to do more, like I have days where I like to do cardio and some HIIT training. I haven't been doing a ton of HIIT training. I do it maybe once a week. Um, but I like incorporating ab workouts and movement, yoga, stretching has been huge. Walking also, we haven't, we hadn't gone out to go walking in a little while. We went out for a one hour walk yesterday and that felt amazing. I love getting outside. Now the question is, is whether we should be wearing like masks when we're outside, you know, but I'm kind of thinking, okay, do we wear these when we walk outside? Like, go for a walk or something. I love smelling the air. I like smelling the grass. I like smelling nature's smell. It's like, I don't want to wear a mask. Do we really have? Those are the things we're asking ourselves nowadays. So, sorry, this is not like a happy video. I'm not trying to be like down or anything because that's one thing that I haven't been. But I just felt like sitting down and kind of like just talking because <laughs> why not talking about my routine and i totally got off topic <laughs> oh so typically we start you know coffee and i typically will just kind of lay out in front of our this back door if you follow me on instagram you'll see that i've been literally sitting i'm using this palette today i haven't used it in a while this is one of my all-time favorites and i'm just doing something really light honestly uh so i've been sitting like in front of the back door which is a sliding door and it just faces the backyard. It's the sun comes in there, comes in through there really bright and it's just been so relaxing to just sit in front of that with my meditation pillow, my yoga mat and just listening to music and reading. And I've been doing a ton of reading. Like I used to be a huge reader and I've gotten off of doing that because of time. And I knew that as soon as this happened, like all started going down and I started realizing that I was one I'm gonna start back reading because I knew that it was like an escape for me whether it's non-fiction or fiction I just love it so and then I knew that I would probably get back into filming because this is like an outlet for me honestly whether somebody watches or not you join me then awesome I appreciate for I one number one I appreciate you for even taking the time to even watch this like I don't expect anybody to watch it but if you do thank you because honestly this is like for to me this is like chatting with friends and at this point, we all need chats because <laughs> we can't meet up. I'll have coffee in the morning, kind of do some reading, and I'll be li I'll listen to some piano music that has been so relaxing for at least 15, 20 minutes before we start our workout. And then once we do that, once we get into our workout, that's about, an, uh, I would say maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Feeling a little peachy today. So anyways, after workout, I usually come upstairs, shower, and get ready for the day. And I've been doing my makeup. Like, why not? And actually, it's been making me try some of the things that I've been questioning. At this point, the makeup is sitting there. It's gonna go. Like, foundations are not gonna last forever, so I'm using them. <laughs> Especially with the amount that I have, I probably should be using them, like, daily. 
Now, do I feel bad if I don't wear makeup one day? Absolutely not. I like having no makeup days, but I definitely enjoy putting it on. Like I said, it's it's meditative for me. Have you guys been doing your makeup still? I don't want to make it look like I put effort into my makeup today. That's not the point. <laughs> this is honestly one of my favorite palettes of all time. And I have some ABH ones and I love them, but this one, oh my God. Probably out of all the palettes I've ever purchased, this has been one of my favorites. Top. It's probably number one, honestly. The truth is it's probably number one. I just haven't reached for it in a long time. We obviously want to be positive all the time and we want to look at this in ways that we might not necessarily look at it from the first moment that this all happened. I think it's okay to feel like some days you're just like, what the frick is going on? What the hell? <laughs> it's okay to feel that. Because I'm kind of like, I'm kind of feeling that today. In my heart, I know that everything's gonna be okay. And that's honestly, I feel that. I'm not a huge fan of this primer, but I'm just trying to use it up. This one's not horrible. But it's not my favorite. I like the L'Oreal. Oh my God. Oh my god, I just poked myself in the eye and I got it right under there. Oh, I just totally effed up my concealer, man. <laughs> okay, well, there's that. Thank god I didn't get it all the way on my contact, otherwise, I'd have to throw this one away. Oof. Today, I'm actually going to use this powder. I purchased this a couple months ago and then the e.l.f. one came out and I was really intrigued by it. And then I kind of forgot about this one. This is a really nice powder though. My friend Christine from Christine Healthy Beauty actually recommended this and I think she recommends I'm all over. So I'm just gonna use this fluffy brush. This is a Japanese Lusk Luxe brush and I love that it's really like it's big or big enough like to dust powder on but it's like loose. It's not super dense where it's like you pack on powder, you know? So I usually do shake it off and I prefer the halo powder over this, but I definitely noticed that this gives a little bit of coverage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit here. But it definitely makes my skin look super even and glowy without looking super powdery. So that's the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is actually really nice. I was pretty surprised about that. So typically what I do after getting ready, I just go downstairs, make some coffee, my fatty coffee with my coconut oil or MCT oil, whatever I'm putting in there and my collagen and all that good stuff. And then I just read. Usually in the morning, I'll read like my self-development books, my personal development books. Once it's like mid-afternoon onward, I'll usually read uh, like my fiction books. So right now I'm trying to stick to one because I have this issue where I'll pick one book up and then I wanna pick up another one and then I have like a million unfinished books, which is actually what I started doing was finishing unfinished books. So the nonfiction books that I had started, I finished two already. I started another one that I had started like two and a half years ago and I never finished it. So I just restarted it from the beginning. That one's A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle and it is fantastic. I just wanted to restart the book because at this point it's been too long <laughs> anyways the other book that i'm reading on my kindle which as a side note i'm not a fan of kindle reading i love having an actual book in my hand one because i know how far along i am and it kind of motivates me to kind of keep going you know what i mean to kind of see where i am and and how much i have to go it does it's kind of like a motivating thing for me it's i know i know stupid but <laughs> for me it makes a difference but I also like having a book in my hand. What I'm reading right now is actually Outlander, which you guys may know Outlander from the series. That's, I don't know if it was on Netflix or where it was, but I never watched the series because I knew I at some point wanted to watch, um, not watch the books, read the books. Well, I literally got mascara where I got the primer. So that's not gonna come off unless I just remove my freaking concealer, which at this point, Screw it, I'm gonna leave it, cause what the fuck. Do we wanna go bling today? I love this, you guys. This is like fantastic. I haven't talked to you guys about this because I got it while I wasn't filming, but this is a fantastic highlight. So I'm reading Outlander. I have the full series on my Kindle, but I kind of wish I knew how far into the actual physical book I was. What am I using for blush today? We got peachy, we got springy. Mm, shop your stash, Elaine. 
you know what? I'm going to go into my comfort blush. I think a lot of us are going into our comfort things with whether it's a book, movies, anything that makes you feel good, do it. Today, I want to use Wild Honey. I actually haven't reached for this in a long time. And if you saw my last video where I talk about TJ Maxx finds, I did show you that I got a backup of this. And I thought that they were being discontinued. And I went onto the Sephora website and they're not. I don't, I don't know if they got reformulated. I got to look at the description and see what it is. But they only have four shades on there and their blushes are some of my favorite. Mainly the ones that don't have all the shimmer. I've never tried any of their shimmery ones. This is like, every time I put it on, I'm like, mm. <laughs> I know, weird. I'm looking forward to major, doing some major reading during this whole quarantine thing um, and just kind of getting back to that and also doing a little bit more filming because I got time. Y'all got some time. Wait, I'm not even done. I'm gonna spray my face and my Too Faced spray is holding my camera. So I'm gonna use this one. This is the Becca one. And if there's one thing that you wanna do, I know that right now is like a really hard time to buy makeup, but if you tend to set your face, get one of these. <laughs> it will change and up your freaking setting spray game. I'm just saying, it just sprays, it just kind of like freezes everything in time. I'm kidding, but it actually makes a difference. This is gonna be really handy in the summer when it gets hot. Yeah, why don't we finish up the look actually <laughs> and put on some lip products. Even though if you're gonna wear a mask while you're shopping, you're not gonna need any lipstick, but put some chapstick on. I'm gonna go ahead and just complete this because why not? So this is stripped down and I'm just gonna overline a little bit. So I would love to hear what you guys have been doing uh, during this time. How are you spending your night, your day, your night? How are you spending your day? What are you doing? You're, what are you doing to ease any anxiety that may come up? I know that a lot of people are dealing with that right now. This is Seychelles. I think I talked about this in my that last video. See what a little overlining will do. <laughs> I would love to hear what you guys are doing for keeping your anxieties down. What are you doing to keep yourself busy? Are you binge watching? What are you loving? Because right now I'm kind of like not watching anything, even though I kind of want to, but I'm more into reading. And I have a pile of books that I actually want to read. If you guys want to see like a video where I talk about what I'm going to plan on reading during this time, let me know. I can do that. And it's kind of like a, you know, different than just makeup. I can talk to you guys about my favorite books, maybe. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I was sharing what was inside my head. Um, didn't really mean for this to come off as negative because I'm not feeling like I'm not even feeling anxious. I'm just kind of like, you know, in my head today and most days I'm not. So it's going to be time to turn on some music and go read and have some coffee and enjoy the rest of the day. I hope that you are having an amazing day with whatever you're doing with your family and your loved ones that you have there at home. And I will talk to you guys soon in my next video.